right, baby. So my dad doesn't see you. Can you tell me who the hell is pregnant? I found this in one of the lockers. Let me remind you that in this workshop, we don't hire pregnant women. You knew it perfectly since the day you signed your contract. So don't say you didn't know. So nobody's gonna talk. You'll stay silent. Dad, what would happen to the woman who gets pregnant? I would fire her. I don't plan to pay maternity leave. Besides, you women only use your children as excuses to miss work. No one's gonna talk. You stay silent then. Very well. If you're not gonna say anything, after you work today, I wait for you to sign your resignation. Did you hear? Get to work! And you, Ruby, don't tell me that again during work time. I'm your boss here. Remember that. Yes, boss. Are you there? You're the... Uh, the boss. Hosh is looking for you. He wants to talk with you. Are you okay? Yes. Do you know why he wants to talk with me? I don't know. He just looked angry and he said it was urgent. Well, I'm leaving before he fired me. birthday daughter dad but I'm still a minor I can't drink it unless here at work oh Ruby more than your dad I'm your boss soon you'll be 18 years old and you will be completely a woman there's no problem drink it mm, better I better take it at home I don't want to cause an accident with the machines you know there's no money to keep disabilities you're right I can't afford to spend my money badly. But then, you can't take this. What is this? I'm giving it to all your co-workers, one by one. With this, you can get rid of that hindrance you have. And why do you give it to me? You're a woman, Ruby. Here is equal for everyone. Besides, you are gonna help me find out which one of your co-workers is the one who wants to fool me. In addition to everything, she's breaching the contract. Sir, we have an emergency. One of the girls got stuck in the machine, she placed her hand in, we have to take her to the emergency room. It can't be possible. In addition to being a woman, she's useless. Open your mouth. Open it well. You can go back to your work position. What happened, sir, is that when we were trying... Ruby! What did the boss want? Well, he just asked if I already knew who was the one who that is pregnant. You know, she's very insistent with that. <laughs> well, I don't know who she is either. But poor girl. Her DP is very little. And now without a job, how she will be able to support her son? Well, I think that she has to see her priority, whether to keep her job or her baby. Do you have children or family that depends on you? Yes, I have my children. <laughs> I'm a single mother, but I had to lie. It's very difficult. 
especially when you don't have anyone to support you. I'm very tired of doing double shifts to get the money. May, may I confess you something? I, I am the one Andrea, who is... Andrea, we need to talk, please. Come with me. Then you tell me... Before. Yes. Oh, Holy Mary. You who are mother, help me with this. I'm tired of being distraught. Forgive me for what I'm gonna do. Andrea, I think I know who's the one who's pregnant. Who? It's Ruby. <coughs> she? Oh no, I don't even want to imagine how the boss is going to feel when he finds out that his daughter is pregnant. Yes, that's why I need to help her. Hush is capable of anything, even disowning his own daughter. But I ask you to please keep this secret, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Well, continue doing your job, okay? Yes. Oh, no. I'm very hungry, and with this pregnancy, I can't stand the cravings anymore. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with you? This is my donut, boy yours. What happens, huh? Ruby, what the hell are you doing? You know well you can't even work in hours. Besides, that's why you look like this. Look at you. Why did you do it? I did it because... Talk! Because I know who's pregnant. Oh, now you know. Come, you're gonna tell me. Walk. Sir. Sir. Now you're gonna tell me which one of your co-workers is pregnant so I can fire her. Sir, you can't treat employees like that. Fire them just because they're pregnant. It's illegal and you know you're it. You're no one to tell me what I can or can't do, idiot. And I remind you you're replacing this workshop, you Pennyworth employee. Look, sir, you hired me as a human resources. Now we'll let the authorities know what you're doing. You're not gonna threaten me. Did you hear me? Tell me which one of your co-workers is the one who's pregnant, Ruby. It's... it's... it's Andrea. She's a single mother. She told me she tricked you, so you hired her. Do you realize? She deceived us, Dad. Andrea? But if she's one of my best employees, how can she do this to me? But please don't do anything to her. She needs this job. Don't fire her. She's going to hear me. Oh, Andrea, forgive me for what I just did. I have no option. Andrea! I want you to pick up your things and get out of this workshop immediately. What? But, 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 but why, sir? I, I, I am a good employee. Actually, I finished today's work and move forward with tomorrow's. When were you planning to tell me, huh? I know perfectly that you're the one who's pregnant. What? Dad, leave her! Let me go! Come with me immediately so you sign your resignation. No, 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 please, sir. I beg you. I need this job. I support the family. And yes, I lied. But I had to do it, because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten a job. Stop! Get up! Get out of here! No, please hurry! Leave her alone! You. Don't fire her! Listen, Brad. Why are you defending her, huh? Because I'm the one who's pregnant! What did you say, you idiot? What are you saying? Yes. I am. I was hiding it from you for a fear. And that's why I lied and say it was Andrea. I'm sorry. I have no option. <gasps> Sir. You're just a kid, Ruby. 
Why are you acting like you're a... Just like your mother. Buzz, please, calm down. Shut up! <laughs> Ruby, please, you're just a kid. I gave you house, I gave you food, I gave you a job. I want you to leave my house in this workshop, did you hear me? Besides, I'm not thinking to recognize that Brad as my grandson. You are a failure, huh? That's what you are. And you're a bad father. You try to get rid of my baby. With this. Didn't you take it, idiot? Understand it, Ruby. That brat is going to ruin your life like you're doing with me right now. That's just what you're good for, just like this bunch of idiots. Stop it! Don't scold her anymore, okay? You have done worse things. What are you saying, you damn poor guy? <laughs> that I was waiting for this moment to tell you all of the illegal things you've done. And also, about the money laundering you've been doing with your shady <laughs> business. I already report you to a judge. <laughs> Please. You can't put me in jail. Without me, this place would go down the drain. You are wrong. Because as a right, this company belongs to Ruby when she turns 18, according to her deceased mother's will. So, officer, please arrest him. No, Ruby, please. Tell them that I'm a good father, that I'm a good boss. Let me go. Why is no one defending me? Take him away. Damn bastards. Go away. I'm your yeah. provider. You're a bad boy. Get out of here. here. Nobody likes Go you. Away. <gasps> Ruby. Oh. Are you okay, Ruby? Oh, congratulations. <sighs> Ay, Andrea, forgive me. Because of me, you almost lost your job. Don't worry. At the end, you were very brave for telling the truth. And now, to protect me. Well, now that you're the new owner of this workshop, where do you want to start? <laughs> well, I think a lot of things are going to change. Starting with pregnant women being able to work here and better salaries. <laughs> All right, boss. Excuse me. <laughs> Maternity is a right that any woman could have, even at work. And although many companies don't allow it, we're not forced to resign to our jobs because now there are laws that defend our rights. 